four, three, two. While Tinder plans to debut more transgender identity descriptions starting next month, you may have missed the tiny satellite launcher that sprays them out in a pattern not unlike the White Walkers' splay horse bits in Game of Thrones and the laundry folder of your dreams. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where having the machines do things to make our lives better has been the dream since at least our parents' childhoods. Modern folks have learned to save their time and energy too. I'ma be real with you guys, I think this thing is genius. The Foldimate is something for now designed to sit beside your washing machine. That is, if you have that luxury, you lucky bastards who aren't paying thousands of dollars to live in a tiny studio dungeon apartment in San Francisco. Anyways. This thing can allegedly fold, steam, de-wrinkle, and even freaking soften your clothes in about 10 seconds per garment. Sadly for now, you've got to clip each thing to the folding rack, and it only holds about 20 items at a time right now. Also, it's about $850, so not ideal. But if this thing saves this poor family from the too much shit to do depression that clearly awaits, I'm all for it, and the 2.0 edition is gonna be rad. A team of engineers from Cornell University want to send potato chips into deep space, sorta. Of. But these aren't your run-of-the-mill Pringles rockets. They're actually tiny interstellar computers called sprites. Since they're so small, these autonomous spacecraft will be able to reach 20% of the speed of light, enabling them to reach our nearest neighbor, Alpha Centauri, within 20 years. They spread out pretty much the way Dorothy 2's sensors do in Helen Hunt's masterwork, Twister. Certain death? Uncertain. First, a hundred of the little guys will be shipped to the ISS this summer for an initial test run. And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. Intel announced the first ever 10 core chips for desktop computers. Australia put traffic lights in the ground to alert phone addicts. The NBA will broadcast 360 degree video of the finals through Twitter. The Sims have gone gender neutral. And Olympic athletes will be paying for things in Rio with Visa's new credit card ring. So that's one ring to rule them all. Bye guys.